Hey everyone, wanted to get on here and let everybody know that yeah, there is this spam bot that's in the comments that's asking you about going to their website. It's got my name. It's on everybody's YouTube channels. It's, you can't get away from it. It's just bots on YouTube, but just don't go to it. I'd never ask you to go anywhere and send money to anybody, so don't go to it. Uh, Canadian Prepper and many, many others have had this issue for years with these bots. So you know when you're getting big enough, these things appear. But don't go to anything if it's got my name on it that says anything about going to another website. I'm not going to send you to any site, to this WhatsApp or to send money to something like that. I'm not going to do it. So... Stay away from anything in comments. Only thing I'm ever going to send you to will be in a description box. I will never do it in the comments, ever. So if you see anything in the comments with my name on it, ignore it, go on, or report it, okay? And another thing, we had some smart Alex on the post yesterday about the, the six-day thing. The thing is, what people don't realize... When I do the videos, I do them a day beforehand because I've got to work in the mornings. So when God gave me the message was on Saturday, not Sunday. I've actually said that in quite a few posts that I record the day beforehand most of the time. And that's the only way I can get videos on early in the morning because when I get up early, I do not have the time. So for you smart alecks out there that want to be a total jerk face like most people today... <clears throat> God gave me the message on Saturday, and it came out on Sunday, which would have made it six days, which it don't matter. I really don't care. You know, God gave you the warning. If you don't want it, it's up to you. It's your stupidity. Not too worried about it. I know there's going to be these idiots, and they're all these so-called got, got God in their names and everything else, and these people are such frauds. They're just absolutely a nuisance. And absolutely a shame that God's people would do stuff like that. But, you know, what do we expect? It's the apostasy of church. God said in his own words, this, this era of the church makes him want to puke. So that tells you all you need to know about this generation of the church. And it's not the lost are like this. I have plenty of people that's never known God. They'll get on here and they're nice as can be. It's church people. That's all it is. Totally rude, obnoxious, act like they know everything. They do nothing for God but sit on their hind ends and sit and argue with people. And it's going to be enjoyable the day that they stand in front of Jesus and Jesus says, what did you ever do besides to argue with Christians about trying to do their work? You know, it's just, it's embarrassing. That's why the churches are empty. Total apostasy. But yeah, it was done on the 5th. I have a witness to it because I talked to Bonnie. She's a friend of mine. And God gave us the message why I was on the phone with her on Saturday. I recorded it Saturday. It came out Sunday. And my, it was my fault. I should have put that in there and took an account that it was done on Saturday. But like I said, I don't care. God gave us the warning. You do with it as you wish. I really don't care. If God gives you the warning, you would listen to it. And it was right on time, just like God said it was. And it would be <clears throat> leading up until the end so that right there tells you the balloon is going to be more than what anything they say it is only thing that god told me about the balloon was one word and it was test that's all he gave me it was a test it's the only word i got one word test that was it so you do it as, do with it as you will if god gives me a message i put it out on here so if you want to just act like and one of their comments was uh well, since you're prophetic, I'm not a prophet. I never have been a prophet. I just listen to God. And like you, I listen to God. I'm not a prophet. Never have been. Never will be. That's why you don't get see me on here like these other idiots every week prophesying this and that and that that never comes to pass. It doesn't happen because I'm not a prophet. But what I do do is listen to God. And when he gives me a message, but see, these people don't want Jesus to come. The church doesn't want Jesus to come. I mean, if you really lay it down on the line, they don't want to let go of this world. They want it to go on forever. And it's just not. 
and when I, we come on here and we're letting you know that Jesus is coming, they don't want to hear it. They want this world to go on forever. The church does not want Jesus to come. I know I talk to them all the time. They literally do not want Jesus to come. They cannot let go of this world. Let me tell you something. I'm excited to get off this planet. So you can't ruin my joy. You can be smart alecky and uh, an idiot in the comments, but you'll be left here if you don't change your ways. And I don't want anybody to go to hell or be left in the tribulation. I don't want anybody to do that. But I mean, like I said, there's going to be a lot of people saved in the tribulation. It's, it's the word of God. There's going to be a, a ton of them. And, you know, I think that's where you get a lot of your post-trib and your mid-trib. That's why I've, God's kind of told me to shut up about it because... These are going to be the saints of the tribulation. And you, that's why you can't reach them. They, they could read the Bible a million times. They're no different than the rabbis in Jerusalem and in Israel because they're blinded, because they've got to play their part. There's nothing you can do to convince them. They're just part of that. I'm just glad I am not in that bunch because I want off this planet. I want out of here. I'm waiting for Jesus every day. You know, I don't want to be here. And I have a lot of stuff to look forward to. Like I said, I have businesses. So, and this person said, well, you're going to take off time because you're prophetic. And I don't think that's even possible. And I'm like, you know what, dude? Unlike you living in your mom's basement, I work jobs. I have a major piece of I have actually own quite a few properties that I've got to take care of. So, yeah. That's why I said I'm not on here to make money or anything like that. Because... I've got things I got to take care of here. I'm just doing this because God told me to be on here, help people, let them know that he's on his way and he's at the door. It's the only reason I'm on here. If, any, if it wasn't for that, I would not be on here. I, I don't have the time to be on here. So, you know, you take it as you, you wish. You know, I'm here to help people. And I get many of them through email, stuff like that, that need help, that... There's so many false channels on here teaching these people so many stupid, crazy things, and I've got to set it straight so they don't flip out and lose faith in God, and I'm doing that almost every day. Even when I'm at work, I'm trying to help people try to, you know, hold on. But I advise everybody, just be ready to get out of here because it's just not going to last that long. And you can take it as you wish. Stay here. I don't care. Because I'm getting out of here. If you want to stay here, all the power to you is all I can tell you. Because I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here during the seven-year tribula seven tribulation. It'll be hell on earth like we have never seen. And, for, and I mean, there's been some really bad things on this earth. And imagine seven years of the worst that time in this world's history. I definitely don't want to be here. So... I'll be glad to get out of here, and I know it's soon. So, like I said, pretty soon we're not going to have to worry about all this and all these smirky, idiotic comments. We won't have to worry about it much longer. So I'm just looking forward to getting away from them, not having to deal with it anymore, not dealing with a, a planet with people and governments that are trying to take us out every chance they get. And that's their big plan. So, yeah, if you can stay here if you want, but good luck to you is all I can tell you. But if you don't want to be here and you want to be with Jesus forever and live a good life and miss the tribulation, I advise you right now to, to turn yourself around and believe that Jesus died upon the cross for you, okay? And have faith in Jesus, and he's the only way to get into heaven. If you believe that, you're saved and you're rapture ready to get off this planet. If you're like me, you just be glad to get away from all these evil people, these smirky, idiotic comments, and get off this planet. Because that's what I'm looking forward to. We don't have to deal with these people anymore. It is the greatest thing ever. And I'm so excited to not have to deal with them anymore. This is a great time. And understand, like God warned us about these events. But he said, don't worry. <laughs> have faith. Believe that I come in the storm. And that's all you need to worry about. That's it. Is to keep your eyes upon the Lord. Stay awake. Don't go back to sleep and be ready for Jesus to come. That's all you got to worry about because, like I said, the end is coming. And billions of people on this earth will not see it coming. I can already tell you that. They won't see it coming. They're going to tell you it's not coming. None of this stuff is going to happen because they don't want it to happen. 
They know when Jesus comes, it's too late. So they don't want to believe that all this stuff, and they, like I said, they don't want to let go of the world. They do not want to let go of this world. They would rather stay here, be sick all the time, have everybody hunting them down. I'm telling you, it's really sad, to be honest with you. It's just so sad that people want to stay on this planet. It is the saddest. Thing. I'll never understand it. Why anybody wouldn't want to be with Jesus forever, I'll never understand it. But they will. They'll give up Jesus for PlayStations and celebrities, football stars. I mean, they can't let go of it. I mean, it's all that makes them live every day. It's just the saddest living I've ever seen. It's just so sad. And right there, I should tell you right there, Jesus is coming. It's a world that doesn't fear him, does not care, don't want nothing to do with him. And it's coming to an end. And rejoice because you're the generation that's going to see it. You will see the end of the world. But don't see or hear from you again. I'll see you in heaven.